Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be uh, revamping and redoing our front porch. So when we moved in, they painted our front door gray. And although, <laughs> although we love the color of it, they actually didn't paint the door um, before they put the hardware on. So we have this huge white spot and now they can't tell us what color the door actually is. So we have decided to repaint the entire door a whole different color. I've also ordered some patio furniture. That way we can sit out here and enjoy the lovely weather once everything is completed. So I'm going to share with y'all what I did for the door. Right now uh, we've got it taped up and I've wiped it down to get it nice and clean and ready. And then I'm going to start with a primer and then I'm going to paint it. This is the PPG um, outdoor exterior paint in the color opal silk green. It is so pretty. I can't wait to see how it's going to look once it's all done against the gray. And then I did get some new brushes. Uh, I've got a three inch in the middle and then this one here is a two inch and then an angled brush on the other end. And then I also have some roller brushes as well. So I'm going to start out by priming the door first just because it is kind of a dark gray and I want to make sure that the opal silk green really pops. So I'm going to do that first and then I'll show you how I'm going to revamp the rest of the porch. I think I did too bad myself. I'm just saying. Oh there. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Just don't get too close to the paint or the uh, tape. I paint it over the tape. Something as close to the window. Just be careful. Well, biscuit. I think we're okay. So, my tip for this is I started out using a roller brush. Don't do it. It's a trap. The roller brush holds way too much paint, so it just started slinging paint everywhere. I used the two-inch brush for the entire door. It was perfect. You could also use the three-inch if you want to cover more space. But it probably took me about 20 minutes to do this. And it's kind of two coats, so I started at the top and I worked my way around. And then by the time I finished to the bottom, I went back up to the top again and just covered up any spots that looked like a lot of gray were still showing through. And now I'm gonna let it dry and we'll get started with the actual paint color. I can't wait for you to see it. I think you're gonna like it. I'm gonna like it. I think you will too, but I can't wait to show you. finished the front door. I've actually even started working on the inside because the inside's going to match the front and I have I'll have a little something on my stories or Instagram to show that because I ordered a rug for the hallway but I'm very excited. I think it turned out really well. Um, I will say I used the angle paintbrush. I used the three inch paintbrush and then I also used this little bitty brush here just an actual paintbrush to go around these areas on the inside of the door. That seemed to help a lot. And then the angle brush is perfect to get into all of these little grooves here 
around the glass. So uh, that's gonna wrap up today because I'm still waiting on our furniture to get here. Once the patio furniture gets here, we'll get that put together and then I'll show you how we finish up the boards. days and we received our shipment of our furniture so biscuit is putting that together now i'm so excited with how the door turned out it looks perfect so i'm going to show y'all what we've got put everything together and stage the porch i'll also link everything below in the description everything that i can anyway or something similar to it if you want to shop our porch uh, if you're enjoying this video so far i would appreciate if you wanted to consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing if you'd like to stick around and see more content like this so yeah let's decorate the porch and show you what we've got perfect for our little small porch and just for us to come out here and sit once we get the kids to bed at some point I'll be able to have a glass of wine again and we're in a cul-de-sac so it'll be really nice that we get to sit out here and watch the kids play everything I think turned out perfect it's simple a little bit of color to the house I'm gonna give you a little tour now and don't forget I'll link as much as I can in the description please please subscribe if you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and get some inspiration for your porch. Love y'all so much. Okay, bye. I think we are all done. Everything looks so good. Biscuit, do you like it? It looks good. It looks really nice. I love it. So this rug here actually came from TJ Maxx a while ago, but they have similar ones all the time. I'll also try and link another one below in the description. The patio set I also saw from another blogger on her Pinterest page and fell in love with it. It's from Walmart and I had to order it online. It went out fast, so I had to sign up for the email to get an alert whenever it restocked. And when it did, girl, I jumped on it because I love this. And the cushions are such good quality. They're thick and everything came together. It came with the two chairs, all of the cushions, the table, and then it also came with a pack, um, or it came with a cover where you can scoop the chairs together and for bad weather, you can actually cover them or for the winter, whatever the case may be. The plant is from TJ Maxx and the planter I think I also got from TJ Maxx, but this right here is a jute rug. 
Uh, you can get these just about anywhere. I'll link one from Amazon below. And then the lantern is from Walmart. I love these. I use them all throughout the year, whether it be Christmas, um, spring, whatever it is, you can change out the color of the candles and they come in various sizes. They're from Walmart. The home sign is from Hobby Lobby and the wreath is also from TJ Maxx, but I'll link something similar to that one as well. All of the paint, paint brushes and everything from the beginning of the video came from Home Depot and I'll link the, um, I don't know, I'll put the paint color down there and the type of paint so you know exactly what I got. Obviously, I don't think I'll be able to link it, but it turned out so good. I think it's perfect for the spring. And then for Christmas, I plan to do like a green Christmas wreath with some gold on it. I think that'd be really pretty, but it looks so good. We're happy with it.